trip report from Charles Douglas International Airport, the second largest hub to American Airlines. Today's flight out of this continued work in progress is with American Airlines aboard one of their Boeing 737-800s to JFK International in New York. Eventually, this doorway will open up into an expanded ticket hall and will be much nicer than these white plaster construction barriers. After checking my bag and printing my ticket in this priority line, thanks to gold status, I head through the A checkpoint through TSA, which is relatively short this time of year through the December holidays. it felt good to be airside again after a few months hiatus from flying. The atrium at Charlotte Airport was very festive and is also where you can get some of my favorites like Chick-fil-A and Cinnabon. But the best part is all the views of the ramps and the sounds of the piano man while relaxing in the rocking chairs upstairs away from busy travelers. My other favorite area though is between the A concourses, but a new lounge is being installed nearby and has yet to open and is closed at this location. Here is my plane for today's ride up to New York, November 985 November November, which will be the first of three Boeing flights on this eventual round trip to and from New York. <laughs> This trip will include flights to Miami on a 777-200 and back to Charlotte on a 737 MAX 8. Today's gate was Bravo 6, which is inside of what is known as the V between the concourses B and C, as being our long taxi to runway 18 left.
out for the main event, my departure on 1-8 left. Today's service of Premium Economy 8F felt a lot like pre-pandemic times with the traditional Biscoffs and eventual drink service from Ginger Ale. Today's flight though would take us east over North Carolina where we'd eventually ride the coastline all the way up to JFK. Way magazine now retired, you can find an in-flight entertainment and information guide along with your safety card for your aircraft and a waste bag. Overall, the premium economy product that America has now has really aged well as while I love having PTBs, I have always enjoyed seeing the world from above. Eventually, the land disappeared entirely, and I knew we would soon begin our final approach into New York. Our flight today will be coming in for a landing on JFK's runway 31 right.
just like that, I've flown my third airline into JFK, and we begin our taxi to Terminal 8, which is one of six current terminals at this airport, of which I've used three. Those terminals being JetBlue's Terminal 5, Delta's Terminal 4, and American's Terminal 8. Having arrived, I can now personally visit this amazing 767 art piece, which will allow me some time for my bag to be offloaded. Navigating Terminal 8 was pretty straightforward, and my bag arrived right behind it. A short walk away is the air train, which can take you to the A train at Howard Beach, or the E, J, Z, and LIRR services at Jamaica Station. The air train is not free though, and will cost you $7.75, $5 for the air train, and $2.75 for your subway fare. next time for my flights back to Charlotte with the connection in Miami on the 777 and the Max 8.